What do you have to torque? Any screw application inside your cabinet. Any? What Any. if it's low voltage? Don't tighten it down, it could still fall out. Tool Fox, what is torque? It is the amount of pressure applied to a screw to assure that it is properly tightened. Not too tight, not too loose. Why is it important? If it's too tight, you could damage the product. If it's too loose, it could vibrate out. What do you have to torque? Any screw application inside your cabinet. Any? What if Any. it's low voltage? Don't tighten it down, it could still fall out. Well, you got some torque drivers here. Show me how they work. So you want to set your torque. To do that, take the center of the handle and you're going to turn. And of course, the terminal block is going to tell you what spec it needs to be at. That's right. Every UL device will have a torque spec on the side of it if it has the screw. And it'll there make that go. noise. What else you got here? I do have a battery powered torque screwdriver, universal bit holder. So I'm going to pop in the bit. Of course, I want to set my torque. Doing that by the tip of the handle here. Now, is that UL? No. The battery powered torque screwdriver does not carry UL, and nobody's battery powered torque screwdriver does. And the reason being is because you have all these little mechanics in there that wear down, but also, more importantly, it's battery operated. So there's too many variables. Is this on full? Is it on low? How many times has it been recharged? So it's not UL. How do you recommend panel shops use this? We recommend that you set it according to specs for your application, and of course, you can go through your panel and use the battery powered torque screwdriver. Then go back through and check with the manual. When you're not using these, should you back them off? It does help if you back them off a little bit if they're in storage, yes. What happens if you don't? There's a lot of tension on the spring inside, which is obviously going to affect the calibration of the torque screwdriver. And all tools that you use to torque in a UL panel have to be calibrated. Correct. What does calibration entail? Do they need to send it back to the manufacturer to do that? No, there's always third party local businesses that will calibrate the tool. Also note that UL requires it to be calibrated or tested for calibration annually. And you always ask me what exactly components need to be in UL panels and how do you make your drawings? Those are not the things that UL is typically a stickler on. My inspector personally, he's always looking, are my calibration certificates up to date? Am I using proper labeling? And it's all the those little details. And that's why we've created this playlist right here with some more tips to help you out.